Hello, welcome to AWIN's interface tutorial on transaction queries. During this video, we are going to go through what a transaction query is, the possible reasons you might receive a query, and finally best practices on how to process them. First, a transaction query is a transaction manually added to the system by a cashback or loyalty publisher. This can happen for a number of reasons. For example, the tracking may have been down at the time of sale, or a user may block third-party cookies. There are three types of transaction queries. The first is an untracked sale. This is where an affiliate or customer knows that a sale has taken place, but it does not appear to have tracked through AWIN. The second is a declined purchase. This is where a publisher believes that a commission was wrongly declined and they would like the merchant to reassess the commission. And finally, an incorrect transaction query. This is where a publisher believes that they were awarded the incorrect amount for a commission and would like the merchant to reassess. To view your transaction queries, please go to Commission and click on Validate Transaction Queries. In this section, you will see the transaction queries with all the relevant information, including the order reference and description box where the publisher can choose to add a comment. In this section, you can edit the transaction and commission amounts, as well as alter the order reference. You can search transactions by publisher ID or order reference using the input fields at the top of the page. When resolving the transaction queries, please have your internal transaction analytics available for cross-referencing. Next, we're going to look at how we can resolve the various transaction queries. It is important to process transaction queries with care and attention. If transaction queries are processed incorrectly, it can lead to a number of issues including paying twice for the same transaction, incorrect reporting, and lastly, customer complaints. First, we are going to look at how to proceed with a transaction which appears to have not been tracked. In order to analyse the transaction query more thoroughly, please export the file as a CSV. Once you have the CSV, we can examine the queries. The first thing to check when examining an untracked transaction query is whether or not it is a duplicate, which can be found in row M of the CSV. If it is a duplicate, this means that it is tracked somewhere in the AWIN system. In this example, we can see that the transaction has been flagged as a duplicate. You can investigate this by visiting the transaction report and checking the reference number. It is possible that the sale was attributed to a different publisher. Next, we're going to look at how to proceed if the publisher is querying a declined transaction. A declined transaction should always show as a duplicate as the purchase has tracked through the AWIN system but has since been declined. When assessing this type of query, you should take into account the query comment and your original decline reason. To examine the transaction in more detail, please visit the transaction report and consult your internal analytics. If it is unclear whether the transaction ought to be accepted or declined, please get in touch with the publisher directly to discuss the issue. Next, we're going to look at how to proceed if we have a transaction query claiming the affiliate was incorrectly paid. Incorrect transaction queries should always show as a duplicate. This is because they are already tracked, but the amount has flagged as incorrect by the publisher. When analysing these queries, please consult the transaction report. From here, check the sales value and commission rate so that you are able to determine the correct commission they should have been awarded. If they have been awarded the correct commission, please contact the publisher directly to discuss the issue. In many cases, the transaction may have tracked incorrectly due to a commission group or scheduled commission change being set up incorrectly. This can lead to numerous incorrect transactions. In this situation, please contact your account contact at AWIN so they can batch amend the commissions. Thank you for watching AWIN's tutorial video on transaction queries. For more information on this, please visit our online wiki.